America, how you doing today? Listen, got a really good menu set up for you today. We're going to do a little bit of roast pork. We're going to go ahead and take this corn and we're going to go ahead and soak it in some butter, some milk, and some water. We're going to take it out after it's getting nice and warm. We're going to throw it on the grill and we're going to roast it. And we've got some polenta. We've got a lot of things going for one dish. It's a big platter for eight to ten people that we're going to do. I'm used to doing big platters. i got a big family and they like to get their grub on. So listen, we're gonna go ahead and get busy. We're gonna take this corn, we're gonna go ahead and throw it over here into this water real quick, and the milk. And I use milk and butter for the corn because it sweetens up the corn even more. So it's gonna sit here, and once it starts to boil, then I'll shut it on down. There's a lot of chopping that goes on here with this dish, okay? Because we have chopped tomatoes, we have red beans, we have uh, purple onion, green peppers, red peppers, black beans, we have garlic, we have uh, some cilantro, we have some parsley, we have some rosemary that we're going to blend up with that garlic and we're going to use it as a garnish down the center of the uh, pork loin. So this is a pork loin. Look how big this sucker is and it's going to take probably about an hour to cook when you get it up on the grill. Now you can do it either way. You can shear it in a pan, put it on a sheet pan and throw it in the oven at 325 and let it go for about an hour, hour and 15 until it gets to about 155. Take it out and just let it rest because it still cooks. So you're going to hit that 160 degree mark. So don't, don't sweat that. But what I did is I marinated this thing. We did some salt, some pepper, um, peanut oil and some rosemary little lemon juice on it, okay? And that's it. And we've let it marinate now for about three days. And it's just because I'm ahead of the game. I got game plan A, B, and C. So we're always ahead because you never know who stops over for dinner or for lunch over here at this house. So this is a really big, thick piece of meat. And what we're going to wind up doing once it's cut, or once it's cooked, excuse me, we're going to go ahead and slice it into steaks. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to build our platter around it and we're gonna build this roasted corn chutney to the outside of it, and we're gonna put the polenta to the other side, and then we're gonna use some marinated roasted red cherry peppers, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and take this sucker, and we're gonna take it over to the grill. You hear that thing sizzle? Boy, I tell you what. We always put the meat side down, fat side up, so when the fat starts to cook, it marinates down through the meat, okay? We take a look at the corn. Corn's working. That's good. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to build the garnish for this thing because there's an awful lot of stuff going on here. So come on back over this direction with me. And we're going to wipe this off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clean up some rosemary. And we're going to just strip it down just like this. Get all that rosemary down. Pick it off. Put that there. You don't want these big thick stems. You see these big thick stems? That's why you just take it from top to bottom and you just strip it off and then the top you can just kind of pick off like that. Now this rosemary is real fresh so it's going to be very, very strong. So you only want about a half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup into this mixture. Okay, now the parsley. Okay, just rough cut it. And it's just one bunch of parsley. Same thing with the cilantro. Just rough cut it. You don't need to use this, the stems. You don't need to use those. You can just toss those. That rosemary. Now we're going to go ahead and take our food processor. We're going to get it up. And now we can clear this cutting board. We're going to put all this into a food processor. Okay, now we're going to grab the garlic. You're going to take about six cloves, just like that. And we're just going to go ahead and pop each one like that, set it off to the side. And just take this garlic and we'll just throw it in there. Take the lid, put it on, just pulse it up, and then just turn it on. Just let it beat. It gets stuck up on the side sometimes. So just go ahead and take your spatula and run it down like this. And that's going to be our garnish for our pork loin. Take this, watch out, because these things are extremely sharp. And we're just going to go ahead and just empty this whole thing out right here. See how it's pureed up? 
nice and smooth like that. We're going to lay that right over top of the pork loin once we go ahead and cut it up. Okay, now this is done. We're going to set it off to the side. We're going to go check our corn because it's boiling. So actually, it's done. So we're just going to take this off. Okay, you see the husk? They're starting to come off, so you know the corn's nice and tender. Just take it, and you're just going to throw it right on the grill, just like that. Just drain off all the extra juice on it. This is Look how nice and yellow and white that corn is. This corn's going to be very, very sweet. So that's why we throw it up here on the barbie. Let it roast a little bit. Keep a good eye on it. You don't want it to get too black at all when you roast this thing. Okay, so, and the husks go ahead and protect that as well too. So just keep a close eye on this, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and get busy doing some chopping. So we're gonna go ahead and take our peppers. We have two different kinds of onion, and then the third onion. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get busy chopping. is done. It's a lot of chopping, but we've got our black beans, green peppers, white onions, red peppers, red beans, red onion, and tomato. Beautiful colors. Now just think about adding that corn in. Let's take a look at the pork. See how that pork is? Look at those lines on that pork. We're going to go ahead and take it. We're going to flip this guy right over like that. Take a look at the corn. See, this is what it's supposed to be doing. Just like that, roasting. And this is kind of like a medium to low heat. So you're going to just keep letting it go. Take this off. It'll catch fire. Okay, so now we've got basically the garnish done. And we've got most of the chutney done. This is going in with the chutney, okay? Now I have one more big surprise for you. Follow me over to here. Polenta. I went ahead and made the polenta up ahead of time. It takes a few minutes to make. And uh, I went ahead and did that because there's so much going on. You'll see it in uh, the website. You'll get the, uh, the recipe and everything else for the polenta. And what I did was you just go ahead and bake it down on the stove with some water, a little bit of salt, for about oh, eight minutes, maybe ten, uh, just depending on how big the pot is and how much you're going to put in there. And so you turn it upside down like this after you put it in that pot and just refrigerate it, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to just go ahead and cut these edges off. You're just going to square this puppy up just a little bit because this is going to go up on the grill as well. Okay, now we've trimmed down the sides. You see how thick this is? It's about a half inch, and that's about all you need. If you get any thicker than that, it's going to, it's going to just start getting brittle. And it's going to come apart on you. It's going to be easier to manage this because what we're going to do, and I'll show you in a minute, but we're going to go ahead and cut this this way and then lay those two pieces up on the grill and we're going to mark it. Just like everything else, we go ahead and mark it. But let's go take a look at this, uh, this pork loin right now because this thing's really cooking well. Look at those lines. Look at that thing. And now back to the polenta. What we're going to do is go ahead and just cut this down the center. And we're going to go ahead and just Put it on the grill this way, and then once it gets hot and it gets marked, then we'll take it off and we're going to cut it into a diamond shape for you, or a pyramid shape. Put them on the grill. You don't want to leave them on there too long. Let's check out this, uh, look at this. Ooh, look at this baby. Look at the juices coming up out of it. Look how beautiful that is. It's about right. That's about right. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here. We're going to just let that guy rest. Check out the corn. Look how the corn is. Look how moist that is. Look how beautiful that is. Check it out. That's beautiful. So we're just going to go ahead and take the corn. We're going to sit that there for a minute. We're going to keep an eye on this polenta. Because we just want to put a mark on it. If it stays too long, it's going to stick. We're getting there. We're getting there with that. All right. What we're going to do is take this corn. 
and we're going to go ahead and strip this corn down and then we're going to get ready to cut this and we're going to get ready to play. So we're going to go ahead and just take all this off. What you're going to do is take, just take your towel and just rub it down. Whew. Puppy's hot, boy, I tell you. Okay, just brush it down. See how clean it came out? Look at this corn. It came out really, really nice. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So now what we're going to do is just cut the end off right here on the edge. You're going to stand them up and you're going to want to use a little bit of a towel to hold it. And you've done this before. Just take the knife and go right down the side and break up those kernels. There you go. Now we're going to go ahead and take it in, put it into a bowl. I'm going to kind of break it up a little bit. All those kernels will break up. There we go. All these colors. Look how beautiful that looks. Now back over to here. What we're going to do is go ahead and take our, our leaf lettuce and we're going to go ahead and just spread it out onto the platter itself. Okay, now that's done. Scoot this right over to here. And now we're going to grab the polenta and bring the polenta off. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. That's all you wanted to do was just put a little bit of marking on it. Now we're going to go ahead and slice this thing. We've let it rest for a little while. And I'm going to go ahead and use this particular knife because it'll help really stabilize. It's a thick, solid knife as far as the blade is concerned. You can get nice, even cuts out of it. Ooh, see all the juice coming out? Look at that. And when you cut something like this, what I try to do is I use a finger as a guide. So I know just exactly how thick. And I, once I get my first cut, then I'm good. And then I just try to go ahead and cut equally all the way down the line. Look at that juice. It's just going everywhere. Holy cow. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and plate. What we got is some roasted peppers right here that have been marinating. I'm going to put these up like this. Now I always take the ends off and I'll use the cut in the middle. We're going to go ahead and layer it like this. That's a bad boy right there. What we're going to do is first start with the corn. And we're just going to go ahead and pile the corn up just like this. Okay, now the garnish that we used in the food processor right here with the parsley, the cilantro, the rosemary. Just go ahead and just take it and just line it down just like that. And you just take some red peppers and you just go ahead and just cross it up a little bit like this. Real colorful, very colorful. Okay, this is pretty much it. What we're going to do is go ahead and garnish this up just a little bit with some rosemary. And you can just stick it down in through here. Like I said, it's a pretty busy plate. You got a lot going on, and you can just lay this guy just like that. And you're going to cut it on an angle. Start at that corner, and then go to the top, back and forth, just like that. And then you're going to go ahead, and you're going to just lay this up there, and you're just going to garnish it up, just like that. This is your roast pork platter with polenta and the corn chutney. And how this is served is that you go ahead and just take the pieces of pork, put them on your plate, and you just go ahead and start taking a little bit of each one of these garnishes and build your own chutney on your own plate. Take your polenta, put it on your plate, and you just get your grub on. I really hope you enjoy this because this is a great meal. It's a really great meal for a holiday. And bon appetit. It's colorful, it's busy, you'll enjoy it. So again, hit us on Twitter, check us out on Facebook, and just remember the real reason why we're here. We're here for the men and women of our armed services for the Wounded Warrior Project. If you like our recipes, take them. They're free. We just ask you for a contribution, and we'll get it to them. They need our help. They need your help. So enjoy the food. Think about that contribution, and we'll make sure it gets there. Bon appetit. God love you.